She's a Mona Lisa. Right, so hello, my name is Jodie Bros. I know I was supposed to be putting out a workout video on Monday. I just suddenly had this idea for this video and I felt like it was quite important to talk about. So I decided to, you know, kind of skip that and do this. I hope you don't mind. I think it's really important to talk about weight fluctuations because they happen to all of us, you know? And just to differentiate what's normal weight fluctuations and what is not so normal. Make sure you watch right until the end because at the end I'm going to give you some really, really good tips on how to manage your weight properly. Things to be aware of just so you can manage normal weight fluctuations better. You know, when I first started my weight loss journey, literally maybe three days in a row, I would eat, I don't know, a takeaway and then a donut and then, you know, another takeaway. And then I would see it on myself. A few weeks later, suddenly I had actually gained weight. Now, years after starting my journey, and after a long time of feeling like, oh, I have to be super rigid and I have to follow this diet. And then suddenly I realized, oh, actually I can eat a little, little bit more. I can eat like, you know, different things. And I was literally like, wow, how is this even possible? Literally, I thought it was a miracle. I didn't even want to question why or anything like that. I just thought, you know what? If God wants to bless me, then I'm going to take the blessing. Because I always thought, well, this is true that, you know, to sustain weight loss, you have to, you know, stick to the diet. But also at the same time, there are things that you can do so that actually over time you can eat more. You almost become naturally skinny, naturally slim. And at first, yes, I did think, wow, this is a miracle. But really the thing that made the biggest change was exercise. The main reason I will say things like go for walks every day, make sure you're exercising, just do five minutes a day. Literally, it's not because I think that five minutes a day is gonna give you, you know, the arse of your dreams and the abs of your dreams. It's because I know from experience, yes, your diet might make you lose weight and help you to actually lose the weight, but you know what's gonna make you keep the weight off? Exercise. You know what's gonna speed up your metabolism? Exercise. This is what's going to stabilize your weight, what is going to make sure that you don't have these like crazy weight fluctuations. Basically what I'm trying to say is, even if you do just five minutes a day, that is going to add up. That is more than doing nothing a day. And the more you realize that you can keep to that, you know, schedule the more you can increase i literally did 20 minutes of exercise a few times a week and over three months six months a year two years your metabolism just shoots up this is also why i think unless you have very specific goals you know you really want to build your shoulders or you really want to you know do something very specific with your body yes you might need like a set routine like you need something uh, specific for, for that but if your goal in general is just to be slimmer just to manage your weight better, then choose whatever you can. Choose whatever is the best for you, your lifestyle, whatever you enjoy doing, whether it's hit cardio, whether it is long, low intensity workouts, whether it is weight training, whatever you can do, consistently, regularly, hopefully every day. I know there are many people online that will tell you, oh yeah, it's okay to take, you know, a couple months off or whatever, but I don't think so. This is my opinion. It is more beneficial for you and your metabolism if you are doing something regularly, every day, over time, and you're not just doing, you know, huge, like explosive workouts for, I don't know, two weeks straight, and then for a month you're not doing anything, and then two weeks straight again you're doing explosive workouts, and then, you know, three months not doing anything because all that's going to do is give you the results yes so maybe for i don't know a month if you do you know great ab workouts then you're going to get the results right but if you take off three months the results are going to go away and it doesn't increase your metabolism like that is what is the most important thing in terms of health in terms of processing your food well and this is what's going to give you that naturally skinny vibe make you slim for a long time the other thing i recommend if you want to minimize weight fluctuations is steady weight loss and this is maybe 200 300 calories over time and that consecutively will make you lose weight if you lose weight fast that might feel great in the moment but you will probably put on that weight just as fast. And that is not gonna feel so great. If you starve yourself for seven days, the moment that you eat something, your body is gonna cling onto it. You are gonna feel that on your body like, like that. And it will mess with your mind as well. Please just 
cut out those kind of diets. If you are someone that finds that you are looking super slim one month, that you are loving your body, that you feel, you know, nice and trim, and then the next month you've put on a bunch of weight, you're not happy with it, you're feeling like sluggish, then you go back to being slim again. I mean, this is not normal. You want it to balance out, you know? You gotta ask yourself, like, is this really what I want? Is this really the lifestyle that I want? Is this really the results that I want? Because the results aren't, are they really working? I mean, it's really, you know, your own choice, right? But for me personally, I, it's not what I would want. I'm really happy that I found this path of health, this path of self-care, this lifestyle. And honestly, truly, this has been a gift from God. We only have one body in this lifestyle, one stomach, one pair of legs, one pair of arms, one everything. And the one thing that we have to do in this life is take care of what we have. The third thing, well, this is kind of like the first thing actually, but you need to live your life. You need to go places, move. You know, organized exercise is one thing, but you also need to move in your life. If you find yourself sitting on the sofa all day, or maybe you work, you know, a very sedentary job, you sit, at the computer desk all day. You have to figure out ways to move, walk to work, walk back home from work. Honestly, this is really important. If your friends ask you to go to the park, go to the park. If your you know, neighbor is bringing up you know, groceries to the fifth floor, then help them out, bring up the groceries to the fifth floor. If you're someone who orders your groceries, go to the supermarket, go around, look for your groceries, do things where you're outside of the house, where you're not sitting on the sofa all the time, where you're not in bed. Move as much as you possibly can. Even me, standing here doing this video, I could sit down and make this video, right? Sometimes I do sit down. But the reason why I'm standing up is because I have more movement, I can put more energy in the video, and it's just sitting down, like recording videos of the day is not gonna do me any favors. Especially when I can stand up and I can have a little bit more movement in, so I might as well. The next thing I did is I had to kind of learn more about the outside influences, just general things that tend to, you know, create weight fluctuations. Normal things, but you know, you can just learn to manage. I had to learn that your weight can be the byproduct of three things. First thing, your environment. Sometimes things change, you know, your jobs change, your living situation changes, and it can affect your weight. I mean, it can affect our skin, our hair. I mean, when I lived in North Carolina, I was probably the biggest I've ever been because I didn't have, you know, those go-to meals that I knew were healthy. The kind of meals I always ate when I was in London, it's just a completely different environment. They didn't have those meals. I really just didn't know what to eat. I, I didn't have the that go-to like, oh yeah, let me just get that. Like I always get this. Like, no, I had to kind of figure out on my own. I found it hard to have, you know, really good fresh meals unless I cooked them myself. And in general, in terms of movement, it's different when you live in a city and you're like running around town and you're just here and there and everywhere versus when you live somewhere like um, North Carolina where you drive everywhere. So if you're going to meet up with a friend in London, you're, you know, running about wherever you're going down the tube, you're going up the stairs, you're going round and round. Whereas if you're gonna meet a friend in North Carolina, you're driving everywhere and it's probably gonna be door to door. And like I said before, even though I was going to the gym when I was in North Carolina and I wasn't going to the gym in London, my activity was still more in London because of the lifestyle that I was living. Second thing, your emotions. I told you in my video 10 things to avoid when you wanna lose weight. Unhealthy partners can really, you know, be bad influences, right? But there's a difference between bad influences and someone who is literally bringing so much trouble, bringing so much drama. And that goes for friends, family, people around you in general. They can play with your emotions, make you feel insecure. And if someone is making you feel insecure, worthless, if they're making you feel bad about yourself, what are you gonna think? You're gonna be like, oh, well, no point in taking care of myself, right? Because I'm worthless, what's the point? She said I'm pathetic, she said I'm a loser. What's the point of me even trying to look good? What's the point of me even trying to take care of myself? Some people have things like polycystic ovary syndrome, diseases, medications that can really you know, affect your weight. 
I have one friend who is an actress and she's been really struggling with her weight actually because she's been on a medication that has really made her put on a lot of weight, which she is still embracing and loving herself. She still posts all her pictures and enjoys, but at the same time, it's difficult for her and she's working towards managing that. She knows that she can't eat the takeaways every day and actually we're working together to help her with that. Maybe she'll want to come on the channel one day and share her story and talk to you guys directly. You no, know, things happen and things change, you know? So you have to just slowly get used to it. You don't need to panic or like be like, oh my God, like uh, I'm putting on so much weight, but just have, you know, a bit more awareness and then slowly give yourself time and know that you will settle. Trust in yourself. Watch my other videos about how to lose weight and then keep, you know, a sustainable plan. Just before I go on to the next point, I want to take this time to introduce the sponsor of this video Skillshare. So Skillshare is an online learning platform with thousands of courses and I'm really excited to talk to you about them because they have sponsored quite a few of my videos. They've been a great sponsor on this channel. You can literally do anything like I've learned so much stuff. I've learned about fashion illustration, organization. I've learned how to use certain software that I needed to learn. One of the most important things was videography and photography. I really wanted to upgrade you know my videos the way they look the way you know my sound is there are other courses so many other courses like in finance if you want to learn about finances if you want about if you want to learn about design just so many different things so if you want to sign up the first 1000 people that sign up will get a free trial where there is thousands of courses that you can try and see what you can learn one of the most important things i had to learn was bloating is not fat if you eat and your stomach expands, it is not fat. If, you, if one day you wake up and your stomach is round and a bit hard, it is not fat. These things are normal, they happen to everyone. Now and again, you get the, you know, the bloating. You could have ate something that you're a little bit allergic to, you could just be gassy that day. Honestly, no one is going to look 10 out of 10 every day, especially on your stomach. You need space for food. Next thing you've got to remember, you need to remember where you started, where you came from. If, if you're someone like me who was bigger before and you've lost weight and you're, you know, trying to manage that weight, just remember where you started and how far you've come. The other day I bumped into this girl, right? And she's actually someone who, when I was in school, when I was younger, she was someone who was the first person really out that I've ever, you know, known to actually lose a significant amount of weight. Literally, she was severely overweight, very severely overweight, and she lost so much weight. I wanna say over 200 pounds. And when I bumped into her, we got to talking, and then she started talking about how, oh, she has to, you know, lose a few pounds because she put on a few pounds and she wasn't, you know, too happy about it. And I looked at her and I just thought, you've lost 200 pounds. But she was talking as if she was super worried. I mean, which, you know, fair enough, maybe she didn't feel like 100%, you know, comfortable the way she was. But sometimes I do think as humans, we make achievements and forget. We don't take the time to stop and think, you know what, actually, a year ago, I would have loved to be in the position I am today. It would have been a dream. It would have been something that you thought wouldn't have even happened. And then you've made it a reality. And that goes for work, for school, for everything. Like sometimes, you know, appreciate your wins. And of course, if you are uncomfortable, you can lose the extra, you know, 10 pounds if you really want to, right? But just, you know, you don't have to be super hard on yourself just because you're not at the point of your absolute slimmest. And, you know, bouncing off from that, actually, your absolute slimmest is not always your absolute healthiest and not always your absolute happiest. I know in general, your absolute slimmest isn't gonna be, you know, the best for everyone. You know, we all, you know, like different body types and wanna look different. But if you want to lose weight, sometimes people think that their absolute slimmest is going to be their absolute healthiest or their absolute happiest. And that's just not always the case. I mean, for me, I know that my absolute slimmest I did not feel good. I did not think I looked great. My chest was so bony that I just felt like I looked like some sort of reincarnated mummy. And I get very like hollow cheeks as well. So it just, 
I didn't think it looked amazing. My boobs were like deflated and it just didn't look so great. My skin was also bad. I just, I don't think that, that was really for me. And sometimes you need to think about whether, you know, the absolute slimness is for you or whether you're happy at, you know, where you've gotten to in your journey. So in the end, it's just about building your metabolism, keeping it high, a moderate diet that you can really stick to and just being aware of some, you know, triggers and, and just managing in the best way that you can. If you like the video, please like the video. It helps me to know what videos that you like, what you enjoy. And I would love for you to subscribe, stick around, support me. I want to say thank you to everyone who comments. Your comments are everything to me. I honestly feel like the luckiest girl in the world because I feel like I've really built a community where people are really loving, really supportive, and just generally open and honest with, you know, their own experiences as well. If you enjoyed this video, I did mention a video called 10 Things to Avoid If You Want to Lose Weight. Definitely check that out and I will see you in that video.